girls what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is Nekia Nova if you are new here welcome 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 please make sure to subscribe like share and comment on this video by the time you're done watching it if you actually enjoy it that was a mouthful but yeah hi I know I've been on and off here and there but I'm still trying to make it here at least once in a week or once in two weeks you guys bear with me very soon I'll be full-time here so from the title of this video and the thumbnail you already know that today's video is about that one time that I almost you know got lured into a fake job interview quote unquote because at the end of the day i didn't go so i can't really say if he was fake or not but everything around it everything surrounding it just seemed very shady so yeah i didn't go and i'm going to give you guys all the gist and all the stories so you kind of understand where i'm coming from okay so yeah um in as much as it's going to be a fun story time i really hope you guys learn one of two things from this because as you guys know, Nigeria is not really safe right now. Every, a lot of things are happening in the country. So please, you guys, make sure to be safe. Especially women. Like, it's so sad the measures we have to take these days just so that we can be safe. But we have to do what we have to do. So also learn from this story, apart from it just being gist. So yeah, let's get right into the story time. So this happened in April. I think it was the end of April. This was when this happened. So randomly somebody called me one day a phone number i don't know normally i would hardly pick up but it's like you know whatever i was bored or i don't even know why i picked up but i should have picked up and then this guy says oh hi good morning he greeted me exchanged pleasantries and then he was like um so so and so gave us your number i'm like huh like at first when he said who gave him my number his name did not register in my head and he was like oh your friend did the that gave me your number and it didn't register at first because it's not i don't know if i should say this person this person is not a very close friend because at the end of the day i don't know i think these days really what friendship is being thrown around but we are very very good acquaintances do you understand but it's not like we know a lot about each other so that's why it did not sink at first because i've not spoken to this person in a while so yeah but anyway i met this person during my internship yeah, I was gonna say where I, where I met the person, like the company, but no need. I met a person doing an internship, and that's how we got to know each other. That's how we exchanged our contacts. And yeah, so apparently this person gave my number to the guy that called me, and then he's like, oh, they work for social so and so organization. I'll not be calling out the name. Just because I told you guys, I'm not sure exactly if it's scam or not. But everything surrounding me just seemed shady. But anyway, um. I'm sorry if you can hear noises. I'm filming in front of my window. I really can't do much about that. So bear with me. But like I was saying, this guy now tells me I need you to listen to me for like the next 30 to 30 seconds to one minute, something like that. That he would like to tell me a few things that the organization needs, like smart and, and intellectual people to join their team. Da da da. They help people gain financial freedom. Blah blah blah. When I heard that, you know me. You know that I like anything that has to do with the shimane so i was like oh okay and he was like oh i would like you to come come in for an interview on thursday i think this was a tuesday i'm not sure but i want them to come for the interview in like the next two days or the next three days i can't really remember the time stamp of everything i think i have the time on my phone but to start scrolling right now i don't know but i'll put some messages on the screen when we get to that point okay so yeah i think this happened on the 19th of april they're about I just looked at my phone now but anyways so i'm like okay um at first i thought it was a prank because it just seemed somehow and too good to be true and like i said me and this person are not that close so i didn't understand why he was going to give him my, my contact to somebody else to give me a job like i felt like ah, ah this person has other friends that he can probably put in that spot but I was like, ah, okay well, this is my lucky day probably i was still feeling like mixed feelings is this a prank is this real but like my best friend's sister was at the room at the time so she was kind of hearing the whole conversation because at a point i put it on speaker so she could hear as well so i was telling her that i feel like this is a prank she was like ah why do you think it's a prank i was like i don't know i think my friends are pranking me da, da, da. only for the call to end and nobody told me it's a prank i was like okay maybe somebody will call me back and tell i was just joking or whatever so after the call nobody called me back the guy just told me that he was going to send me an uh, an sms giving me the whole code for reservation because if i have to come in for the interview I have to have a reservation code so i was like okay whatever and then the call ended and i texted the friend that gave him my number because that was like the next thing to do you get so i was like oh hi this and that reached out to me 
did you give them my contact? I was kind of confused. I thought it was a prank. And then he started laughing. Ah, no, it's not a prank now. Ah, uh, you this babe. It's YouTube, YouTube that, <laughs> that fool your head. You think it's a prank. I'm like, oh, I actually thought it was a prank. Oh. And he goes, no, it's not a prank. That he thought it would be a good idea to make more money since he knows that I like fresh money as an evil babe. And then I just laughed it off, you know. So he was like, well, anyway, when I get the reservation code, and stuff that he said they were sending me. I should show him. He wants to see what he looks like. I was like, okay, no problem. And these people sent me the code at night, which didn't really make sense because if you want to send someone, someone something, I'm not supposed to send this person during the day because it was during the day you called me, and I think they sent the code by like past 8 p.m. or something. Organizations are not closed at that time. Anyway, I don't know what to make of that, but I didn't really think of it too much then. It's now that I'm dipping everything, or it was later I was dipping everything. So. Uh, he sent me the code and I don't know the guy told me to send him the code so he could see what it looked like but me eh, after he sent me the code in my mind I'm just like ah, I'm not going for this thing it seems like it's serious but I'm not interested and I just told myself in my heart of heart you know so I didn't bother sending the guy the code to look at it or whatever and him too he didn't ask me about it so that was where that ended then on the day the day before the day I'm supposed to go in for this whole thing they start calling me that same number starts calling me and i knew it was that number because i don't know sometimes number registers in my head i don't know if it happens to anybody else but like i looked at the number and i was just like nah this is the number that called me that day <laughs> so they start calling me they want to know if i'm still coming in the next day i didn't pick up i obviously know that that's why they're calling me so they called me like two times that day i didn't pick up and then they sent me a text message saying let me just look at my phone to read this out Confirmation that she got your details for the appointment to meet with our senior consultants at da 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 da. They said the name of their company and all of that. As at 2 p.m. and then they wrote the location, which was here in Abuja, in Gudu. That's as much as I can say. But anyway, so they sent me that message and I did not reply them. You know. Also, I not tell you guys what the reservation message looked like. I'm going to put it on the screen. It just said your your reservation to come discuss with the consultants of blah 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 is successful date is wednesday the 22nd of april that's another thing i did not understand wednesday was not the 22nd of april so when you know when you're saying this type of things you have to be extra careful and i didn't think that a very put together organization would be making mistake in dates just sounds just like shady anyway wednesday was not the 22nd of april basically i think it was thursday or something but that was a mistake and then they put the venue put the time for 1 30 p.m and gave me my reservation code and they also said if you're late you may be denied access to our consultants god bless you god bless you too anyway <laughs> so that was what the reservation message looked like i'm sure it's on the screen as i was talking about it so i told my boyfriend about this and then he was like ah, he doesn't know he's not quite sure how the whole thing is sounding that do i want to go i was like honestly i don't want to go he was like yeah him too he will not tell me to go that he doesn't think i should go for it you know so the next day comes the day i'm supposed to be going to this place and i was still thinking about it should i go or should i not go but my instinct and that's the thing with me like sometimes my gut tell me stuff my instincts tell me stuff and the thing is women we have this thing that happens to us when our instincts tell us stuff please listen because there's a reason that that's happening you know so i try as much as possible to listen to myself if something is telling you something in your heart and then if your mind is telling you a every other person is telling you b go with a regardless because your mind is sending you a for a reason you know okay so i was like mm, i'm not going to go for this thing let me not bother this will keep calling me this will call me like three times that day remember they already called me two times the day before so that's five times altogether so come on gain financial freedom is it by force to gain financial freedom also before this day like the night before i said to um, google this organization i wasn't seeing much about them i was seeing a lot about they help people gain financial freedom da, 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 da. but i wasn't saying how like how are you going to help me gain financial freedom why is it a secret at least let me let me know how let me know how this is going to go because all this thing that has to do with refer this person refer your mother refer your grandmother in the village i'm not really i don't really like those kind of stuff because i don't really i don't have just be you know trying to tell somebody ah come and try this product come and try that product mm -mm, i don't have that kind of energy so i wanted to actually know what it was about but they were not telling me what it was about they were only telling me what they do and it didn't really make sense they had a website um, 
I don't know. It was an okay website, but like I wasn't really still feeling the vibes. And you know how I watch YouTube a lot. I was just like, let me just type out this company's name on YouTube. I'll be this organization's name on YouTube. And I typed them out on YouTube. Luckily, I saw a video about them. I watched the video. You guys, this video was six minutes. I've never seen a video talk about a lot of things, but not talk about what exactly they are doing. This video was saying so much, I was saying nothing. I swear. <laughs> I was like, for the whole six minutes, they're just saying, oh, they've helped this person. And some people were like, ah, they've helped me to gain financial freedom. How did they help you gain financial freedom? Why is nobody saying this one? I don't understand. Like, it just seemed like a waste of my six minutes that day. And I was like, yeah, these people are not serious. If you're serious, at least you hint at how to give somebody the financial freedom. I'll be how you help gain financial freedom for people. So these people keep calling me the next day on the day I'm supposed to be there. Uh, mind you, they told me that if I'm late, they would not... Um, what they even say in that message whether they will not attend to me or something like that i might be denied access so why is he calling me my time is 1 30 as at two o'clock people are still calling me i'm already late as at two i'm like 30 minutes late why are you still calling me it's as if you are like you're you really want me to come for the job it's not me that's supposed to be you know thinking about it and saying oh i need to get here and i need to get the early nobody really calls you like that nobody's pressed for you to show up like that for an interview so it's like oh these people you people are shitty because why do you want me to come by all means why these people kept on calling me ah, even the next day i think they called me once i'm not sure but i shall know that on the day when i was supposed to show up they called me three times and everything was not looking right i mean their website wasn't telling me much about them the video i watched wasn't telling me uh, much about them at all either and then they were still calling me non-stop even though it had already passed 1 30 pm why i don't understand until today the friend who gave them my number to contact me till today he didn't text me to ask me if i went how far you didn't show me the reservation code da, da, da. i'm not even saying the person has anything to do with it but everything is just shady everything is just one kind so this video is just to say this was my experience i didn't go um let me know what you think in the comments do you think if i went it would have been a good outcome or it was good i didn't go let me know what you think because i've heard a lot of stories i've heard a lot of stories and then when um i heard the story of in the morning may her soul rest in peace i felt so bad because she also just wanted a job and because of how badly she wanted a job she went regardless i don't know if i was in a situation that i really needed a job badly maybe i would have gone if i really needed money badly maybe i would have gone because you know this type of things happen and she just wanted a job and look at what happened look at what it did to her so i just have to be extra careful you guys so i'm really glad i didn't go because after i heard the whole story of what happened to her it's like what if i went and it was something else do you understand and also make sure you're telling somebody even if you're going to go i know like even if you tell somebody it might not be like a good guarantee but at least somebody knows your whereabouts and even if you don't show up somebody can raise an alarm just like in his friend did for her may god bless her friend too because that her friend is a real gem like she went out for her she kept on raising an alarm it's sad that she didn't make it but her friend is actually a good friend Oh God, I'm having goosebumps talking about that girl right now. We have so rest in peace, Jesus. But yeah, you guys, let's all be careful if we're going out, if we're trying to do anything. All this, I know, even if you need a job badly, pray about it. Tell everybody you can tell about it. Make sure you have your recorder on. This is how bad things are getting these days. If you, if you feel like this thing is shady at the slightest, run or attack the person. I don't even care. You know? So yeah, that's the end of the story time. So yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Please remember to be safe. I hope this video taught you a thing or two. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Share this video with your friends and your family. And I'll see you in my next one. Until then, you guys, peace and love. Mwah. Mwah. Bye.